Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for Friday, February 16th. TGIF. Daily vibes. What do we have? This is for all signs. And I know I was thinking about this before I started, and I think this is a day of allowing, just allowing things to unfold, allowing these changes to happen. Whatever it is, it is, you know, it is what it is, just allowing. But we're going to see what the cards have to say. I think it's a day of just going with whatever it is, and hmm, all right. You know, no longer wanting to push, no longer wanting to influence our desires onto something. Just just letting it be. It's a day of just, okay, it is what it is. Here we have the strength card. It does say power. This is about strength. It's about oneness. It is about... Uh, beauty and mastery of emotions and and it really falls into line with what I was just saying when you absolutely have the strength to allow that is a beautiful attribute okay I feel as though this is a day of stepping into your own power with ease okay it's a day of strength. It's a day of gentleness even, okay? Because when I mean, you have the power, it, it does allow you to feel calm, okay? So I feel like today is a day of uh, letting go, letting go of the need to control, all right? Yeah. <laughs> With the devil card, okay? So this is very controlling, okay? So with this mirroring, they're mirroring each other now. With with this mirroring, the power card, this is like, I feel as though many of you have the power to overcome these temptations, to overcome these, these uh, obsessions that many of you have been fixed with. I think you guys are using your power to master these things that no longer serve you. Many of you are freeing yourself from these obsessive bonds, okay? I feel like as though um, there has been some self-sabotage that many of us are, are letting go of. We're just no longer going to do that. Love begins and patience and planning. I think, you know, this right here, the, the devil card is about um, freeing yourself. It's about being able to free yourself from some kind of obsession or addiction or lies or whatever. So I, I really feel like today is the day where we step into our own power and we let go. We let go of this this hold that has been on us that's what i feel it's like we're taking the time to invest in ourselves more so than ever um it's a day of allowing ourselves to be one to be one with with our desires i mean this is this is a one this is the ace of cups but it, it is a it's a love okay so this is a this is a love and I think it's a love of oneself. I really do. I think it's a love of oneself. I feel like it's a, it's a beginning. It's a new beginning where we acknowledge our own strength. We acknowledge our emotions. We acknowledge our power. And we just let it be. And as we let it be, the love illuminates. Okay? So this is a day of perhaps a, a new beginning where we are able to sincerely master our emotions and invest in ourselves in a way that allows us to release some obsessions that have been holding us back because there ha there's definitely some sort of obsession, addiction, some kind of false 
temptation that has been keeping us down. And I think today is a day of just removing these temptations from our lives with ease. Just being able to go against them with ease, not even worrying about it. Today's like, it, it just feels like I'm no longer going to push for something. I am going to just let it be. I'm going to let it happen. I'm going to be patient and, and let things happen rather than being obsessed. I'm going to let go of these obsessions and be patient and wait. And I'm going to wait and I'm going to plan for my future and do it in the right way instead of trying to rush it. And to, because, you know, when you rush, you do sabotage. When you do things impulsively, there's a, there's a darn good chance that you're going to sabotage it in some way. So I feel like many people are... Are, this is a day of releasing the need to obsess, releasing the need to manipulate, releasing the need to control, and, and, and switching it to allowing stuff to happen as it, it, as it should, okay? Because that's what, that's, that's what it looks like. It looks to me as though it, this is a new beginning where love is... Is, is within yourself and your this is self love I really feel like this is self love it's the it's a new beginning um, and I see a lot of oneness here I do where where I'm comfortable with who I am I'm comfortable with where I'm at and I'm no longer going to wait for or I'm no longer going to push I'm going to wait I'm going to wait I'm no longer going to push for something that is false, for something that I just desire, I just want, I just, you know, I don't need it, but I want it. I'm no longer going to push for the wrong thing. I'm going to wait and be patient for the right thing. You know, that's that's what it looks like to me, that we're giving up the the need to pull in what doesn't serve us. We're no no longer wanting to just be obsessive and get it now. No, I don't want it right now. I want what's right. You know what I'm saying? And that is the ultimate strength. That's the ultimate master in your emotions and using the force within to overcome temptation that doesn't serve you. And that's what I see. It's like this, this, there's this ultimate oneness where we find our inner force. We find our inner, inner power to overcome te te temptation and be patient to allow what is meant to be come at the right time. And that is the ultimate love when you can wait, when you can wait for the right thing rather than succumbing, succumbing to temptation. Caregiver. I will zoom this in in just a minute. I just want to get one more card. It is a day of power. It's about your own power, using your, your own power to overcome temptation that doesn't serve you. Okay, it's about doing the right thing today instead of the wrong thing and no longer going to sabotage myself through impulsiveness. I'm just going to allow what is to be at the right time. And that is the ultimate love for oneself when you're in no rush, when you're when you can believe in yourself, you can believe in your plan. I see that there's some planning going on and you're being called to have patience. And I think that you are. It's like I'm ready to be patient with this instead of rush. This is just. I think there's there's some rushing that has been going on um, in regards to some sort of obsession that hasn't served you in the past, and now you're like, you know what, I don't need this anymore, you know, and it's not about fulfilling your needs anymore, it's about, uh, not about fulfilling, fulfilling your, it is about fulfilling your needs, it's not about fulfilling your wants, this is a want, okay, it's a want, so it's about allowing your truth what you truly deserve, what you truly need to come at the right time. So today is is definitely a day of allowing. I'm going to get one of these and then here, oh, here it is. Trust. Trust. I'm going to flip it over in a minute, but I want to zoom this in. caregiver we are with you 
and spirit has its own way of recognizing the care and love you provide to others, especially at the end of their lives. Just as you received care and love at the start of your life, caregivers often focus all of their attention on their loved ones and often neglect their own concerns and well-being in the process. This, this card says it's time to take care of yourself. It's a day of taking care of yourself, of doing what's right for you. Allowing yourself to be open. Allowing yourself to heal. Allowing yourself to use the force within you. Loving yourself. This is this is self-love. It is. This I knew it was self-love and this is self-love too. It is. It's a day of self-love where we allow, we allow our inner force, our inner guide, our inner strength to let go of the need to obsess over something that we don't need. This is a day of self-love. That's what it is. Trust. Trust your decisions. March to the beat of your own heart. Boy, does that resonate, huh? This is what's going on today. It's about removing obstacles and obsessions and false bonds and false desires with strength, courage, and trust and faith and allowing ourselves to love ourselves fully and be patient. while we invest in ourselves. This is self-investment, this is self-love and self-care. So today is a day of about self, it is. It's about a self and letting go of temptations that don't serve us. That's what I have. Talk to you later.